Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? My child, this place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. I don't know what's real or what is a product of my imagination, Father. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying.
seem to be one of them. One of them? What are you doing down here? My grandfather and those men in suits locked me down in this cell. Please, miss. You have to help me get out of here. Of course I'll help. Stay calm, okay? Everything will be all right. I promise. Okay, miss. Where are your parents? My father is on a business trip. He should be back in a couple of days. And my mother was also captured by those men. I'm so sorry. I'll get you out of here. First, we need to find a way to open the door. What do you plan to do, miss? Those men in suits took the key with them, and I don't think it's a good idea that you get close to them. I'm sure there's a way to get the lock off without using the key. Please hurry. There isn't much time. We need to save Mother. We'll get you out. Just wait a little longer. What have you done to the lock, miss? I poured some acid on it. The metal will eventually dissolve, but it will take some time. I only hope that the acid works fast. There's almost no candle left. You have to be patient, little one. Sooner or later, the lock will fall apart. For now, the best we can do is wait. Thank you, miss. What is your name, little one? I'm Anna. Anna Wildberger. I live here in the hospital with my parents and my sister. Have we met before? Your face seems familiar, but I'm sure we've never seen each other before. Do you work in the hospital? No, but I have this photograph. Are you one of these girls? What? Why do you have this photograph? 
I don't know, but I'm trying to figure it out. It was mailed to me a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? My father took that photo yesterday morning, just before he left for his trip. Why are you lying to me? I swear I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. What do you want from me? I just want to help you get out of here. I'm not talking to you anymore. That acid was probably another lie to fool me. You never wanted to help me get out. Anna, you have to listen to me. I need you to trust me. I am your friend. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Anna, listen to me. After going through that strange projection, I found myself in a place I'm sure I have been before. But it was different, as if it was the same place at another time. It gave me a feeling I didn't belong. I discovered something terrible. A young girl locked in a cell. Who could do such a horrible thing to a child? There is a robust lock holding the cell door. I don't think I'll be able to locate the key, so I should find another way to open it. I have to get her out of there. <laughs> 